All right, where are we? Grand Island. Grand Island. Nebraska. On our way to where? Lake McConaughey. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. All right, still waking up. Gonna get gas. Then gonna get some McDonald's. Then we're going to hit the road. Hello. Hi. So we made it to Lake McConaughey. We did it. We have a great little camping spot that overlooks the lake here. Oh my gosh. There so are pretty. campers on the beach. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, how do you get those spots? 
don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I'm not sure. We could look into it. I'd, I was a little wary of driving the scamp down on the sand, not knowing like how sandy the sand was. And I didn't want to risk getting stuck on our first <laughs> trip to a beach. But obviously people do it because I know people do the beaches in Texas and things like that, which we like to do sometime. But yeah, our made friends it. drive their truck down on the beach too. Yeah, uh, and <laughs> they said they might even loan it to us hmm. uh, to go back and forth. Um, I don't, I don't know how. Like I, the sand we're standing on right now, I don't think we'd have any trouble with. No. But I've never driven a scamp on it, so I could be completely wrong. Well, one day we'll try. One day we'll try. <laughs> What you doing? Hello. Yeah. I'm cutting broccoli. Are you chopping broccoli? Yes. The dogs are helping. Clover, you stopped shivering? Oh, broccoli treats. <laughs> Puppies. Hey, Milo. Are you worried? You wondering where Dad is? You don't like beds, huh? Yeah. You like to rub all over them. He's a silly boy. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. You like that bed. I think you're disturbing Clover. <laughs> Miss. D. D eight. Eight. Yes. Hit. D. Eight. That's a hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I picked up a red pig, and it was a hit. <laughs> you willed it to be. Okay, let's do. No, that's my turn because you just sunk my ship, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, D9. Hit. Yeah. Are you cheating? Can you see in the reflection? Oh, yes, but goddammit, I wasn't <laughs> looking in the reflection. I won't look in the reflection. <laughs> I can't see in yours, so you got this. Being a weirdo.
some breakfast in bed. So the last time that it was this low. So where are the footings and everything? Only oh. the one foundation should be out right now. Oh. The other ones aren't, but we have an old storm cellar, so then you can see some of the old foundation. <laughs> Milo, you make it hard to film. There's people crossing, Trevor. What's that? There's people crossing. Oh, yeah. I'll do it in the tractor when we go get oh, it. Oh, driving across? Yeah. <laughs> I'd do it in the John Deere. Yeah, it definitely looks sketchy. Blair Witch Project is... Yep, yep. I'll give you a dollar to go down yeah. in there.
think, buddy? <laughs> Alright, show us some flippies <laughs> and some turnies and some upside downies. Oh, I'll go upside down. <laughs> Alright, hit it. We forgot our flippy floppies. <laughs> I did forget my flippy floppies. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why you're wearing your hiking boots. Yeah. Yeah. See, you forgot everything tropical. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you thinking? Hey. Well, do you like that heater just for you? Yeah. Are you a happy girl?
doing, Clover? that far only because she loves you. for the first time today. <gasps> Milo, that was you. All right, so Lake McConaughey, Lone Eagle Loop. It's a really nice campground. The lake is amazing. I would say that the bathrooms leave a lot to be desired. You also have to pay for the showers with a token system. That's the first we've come across that. Maybe that's common and we just haven't seen it much, but uh, it's the first time I've seen it. Um, it is the weekend after Labor Day, so it was actually, I would say, more than half empty here. The spots along the side where the backs uh, back up right to the lake uh, were filled, but everything else was empty, which left it to be a, a pretty quiet time, which was nice. The only exception would be, uh, and I, I hope that others who would watch this wouldn't be these people, but our neighbors, which were two campsites away, uh, we didn't have anybody next to us on either side, which was fantastic, but two sites away every morning would wake up um, and throw the tennis ball for their three dogs. And we have, as you see, two dogs of our own. And so they would throw it all the way into our campsite and their dogs would come tearing into our campsite to get the ball, which would then uh, freak out our dogs and cause our dogs to bark and freak out and then their dogs would run back to their campsite and this was while we were still sleeping um and the third morning uh, i was actually awake and uh kind of prepping for breakfast when they did this and uh their dogs actually came running up on me um they were friendly but uh, if i had been someone who was afraid of dogs that would have been pretty terrifying luckily i'm not uh, i was able to you know, kind of shoo them away because my dog started to go extra crazy. Uh, and their, uh, I would say, probably 17, 18 year old son, he was definitely an older teen, came over to get him. And I just said, Hey, could you just keep your dogs out of our campsite? You know, we've got our own dogs. And he was like, Oh, you know, I'm so sorry. As if he just finally realized, like, this isn't okay. Um, you know, when, when you're at a campground, like your campsite is kind of your space and you need to be um, understanding of other people too. So please don't treat the entire campground like your backyard. You know, be respectful with other people too. Um, again, I'm pretty sure you all know that, but I would have thought that they would have known it. Um, you know, it was a family, uh, you know, a father, mother, and like uh, two kids and their three dogs. Um, and their parents didn't seem to care at all that they were doing this. So uh, that that kind of sucked a little, but you know, they, they left early, thankfully, because uh, we were here for a couple more nights without them. Uh, in fact, last night, as you can see, there is like two people there and 
like two people down there, maybe three. Um, and that's really it. There's really nobody else left at the campsite besides our little camp. So um, last night was great. Um, so Lake McConaughey, Lone Eagle, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up, but uh, uh, bring, bring some singles to get your tokens for your showers. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you.